Fine. The people, for the reason I left Gradia, are now in play here. And I have a feeling they're working against everything. Your home people are here working against you. No. Against Ledford and the King. Fuck Ledford! <laughs> so what? Let them fucking destroy everything we can run! Why are you worried about this fucking place? Look at it! I mean, honestly, look at it! It's shit! We're killing the fucking forest! To put up a useless fucking palisade that barely helped us in our first attack! All of these people are going to fucking die, you heard the dryad. Mm -hmm. Prioritize getting yourself out of here. Hopefully your friends, if you can do it. Why bother? They're gonna die, right? We are not. Yeah, they are, but you can at least keep them around for as long as you want. That's the fun part of owning them. It's a responsibility. They're pets. God, you're not... Not what? Do you even want to be a drow? <laughs> Sorry I haven't picked it up in the last couple of weeks, Sarah. No, do you even want to in the first place? I don't know. Are you sure? I told you this oh, two weeks ago. I don't know who I'm, I'm supposed to be. I don't know what I want to be. I don't know how to be any of it. Do you want to be like me? Killing people. Getting yourself in trouble. Hating literally everyone you walk past. Do you want to be like you? I love it. I love every single time I get to drive a fucking blade into someone's chest. Because it's one less person that's going to do it to me. That fucking acolyte. I murdered her. She's dead. Yeah, I figured. The male is very close behind. Priest took himself out as well. Especially if I find him alone. He's been alone all day. There's cherry on top. I meant when I can find him. Preferably out here where I can drag him off into the woods. Bash his head in. Leave him there. You could blame it on those things that attacked last night. That's You're reading my mind. Besides the Yeah. Okay. See? Do you understand now? What? Everything is about self preservation and survival. There is no casual time. Everything is a fucking mask. I'm constantly wearing a mask. When I'm giggling and running around, I'm manipulating everyone around me into believing that I am just some little gremlin. But in reality, every single little thing that has gone on around here has been me. All the people that have been broken into, all the shit that has been fucking gone. The only thing I haven't been in control of is... God, the fucking woods! I don't even know what's going on out there. But I'm playing a game of chess in here. And I could get killed at any moment. I didn't even know there was someone fucking following me. That's how fucking busy I am. Mm -hmm. Still haven't found the messenger. This is the life of a drow. So you need to figure out what the fuck you actually want. Because you don't have to be me. You can continue being Kyla. You don't have to fucking discover yourself. Through books and other people. You can discover it through you. How you react to the world and how the world reacts to you. I didn't fucking read books. I didn't, I didn't learn from a teacher. I existed on my own. In an area that I Alone. knew nothing about, that appears to be a big part of me. That's the point I was talking to you about. Did you realize that's where I am right now? In your lands. And you could talk to me about it and I would tell you everything I could. To help you. I don't want to. Because I don't need to. Because I can do it myself. I'm not in the Underdark. Can't just look around and learn. don't need to know anything about the fucking Underdark. We're not going there! There's nothing down there that's important to you right now. Nothing that is going to help you up here. Nothing. It's not about... Everything is about surviving. That's lesson number one. Mm-hmm. I learned that. Good. You don't need anything else. 
There's no time to sit down and read out of a children's book. You. All of the drow. Everything about them. I don't have time, nor do I have supplies for it. And right now, up here, is not full of drow knowledge. It's full of fucking murder plans, dossiers, coup d'etat plans, and whatever else is swirling around in there to see how we can all survive. And by all, I mean my pets, your pets, and their pets. Because if we can, we're going to get them all out. Including our... You just have a lot of decisions to make about who you want to be. Because right now I don't think it's a drow. Is there some in between? Drow don't help Something. others. You are what's in between, you idiot. Just keep being you. Is that enough? Is that you're okay? Not... I mean, you're not stagnating. You change every fucking day I see you. What do you want me to say? You want me to keep a fucking checklist of percentages of how you've changed? How tall you've gotten? How big your cock's grown? What do you want me to do? I'm not a specialist. I'm a fucking orphan who was kicked out of the Underdark because I attract shit that doesn't even make any sense. I have a fucking ghost in my pocket. Kyla. Then I'm not fit for this. Just be my fucking friend not fit then. To... Fuck. I don't have time for friends. I don't have time. Very well. Don't do that. I can't promise that I'm going to be there for you. I can't even promise that I'm going to be there for myself. <laughs> you need to be prepared for losing anyone. Anyone. I know. Soon. I have been. I already feel disconnected from everyone here. Enough. Honestly, Kyla, that's not a bad thing. I know. I'm happy to hear that. Makes it a lot easier when you can switch it off. <sighs> now, if you don't mind, my property is probably wondering where I went. I think he's down there to the right of the guild. Thank you. Just fucking think about what I said. Stop worrying so much. You literally have all the time in the world. No, I don't. I wish I did. So fucking sweaty.
I need like a towel boil. Wipe my shit down. Holy fuck. One moment, chat. <sighs> Get some water into me, I guess. Yeah, that was intense. <clears throat> I was more confused than anything at this point, guys. <clears throat> At least take a look and see what I can possibly do. Still want to figure out Kyler. Before it gets too dark, we never did look for those tracks. I did. I didn't see much. Fair enough. Have you seen Eindel around? She was speaking with Katrina, uh, maybe 20 minutes ago, but I, uh, would assume she'd be in, in the walls by now. I, I would say either the tavern or her apothecary shop. Thank you, Terry. I was about to go to the tavern myself. Of course.
I'll start letting the tone know away. Do hope that your wounds heal quickly. Mm. I hope so too within a <laughs> Maya, your mic's active. Huh? <laughs> Somebody oh Yo I'm hot oh. micing. Let me talk to me. <laughs> what? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, look I at know what Jack is. <laughs> uh, she <clears throat> went to. I believe. Uh, I was there anything I can do to help alleviate any of that concern? Only thing I can really say is keep an eye out. More grim. I can do. Yes. Open up your smithy. We have an urgent yes. request that needs tending to. Um, could we talk? Uh, sure. Probably in your... Somewhere specific, or poth just... Pothic area would be the best. Alright. Alright. Let us... Thank you. Something the matter? Um. You've lived a long time, right? Quite a long time, yes. Do you... Have you ever had any meaningful relationships with anyone? Do you see the point in it? Do you actively avoid it? Funny you should ask this question, because I actually asked a similar topic to someone else earlier today. To be quite honest, I have only really known what it's like to even have any form of relationship, whether that be just friendly, talking, what to mind you, for pretty much only the bit of time I've been in Medford. The rest of my time, I've only known people from a distance, but that doesn't really count as knowing anyone. At least, now that I've had experience with actually being around others, it's painfully so. But, I had asked about that very same topic because I'd been... It got me curious after about the third time in one day that somebody had asked for some sort of thing that could be argued as some level of relationship that I did not know how to even process because I didn't know what they were referring to. Hmm. However, I imagine that's not related to your request. But uh. I, don't, I don't exactly... To answer the question more precisely... I don't have much experience in it, but I also don't close out my heart to people. There are many I care for, but I guess now the question is, to what extent does that go? And whether or not that falls into the purview. <laughs> Has someone caught your eye? No, it's or just... Or are they trying to catch yours? 
No, no one wants to be around me. Um. Am I no one then? <laughs> you know what I mean. No one wants to be with me in that regard. I do. Um, I'm just thinking a lot, you know. Someone told me that I'm going to live a very long time. I'm going to outlive a lot of people. So there's no point getting attached to them. Because they're all going to die. I'm just kind of processing that, I suppose. Um, there's another reason I came up here. Oh, believe me. I've felt the same way. Mm. And yet, I do it anyways, because... Living alone for so long, once you realize what it's like to not have to do that anymore, you don't ever want to give it up, even if it's possibly only a temporary fix. Yeah, I suppose. Look at it that way, perhaps. I just I feel so fucking conflicted with so many things. <sighs> I believe the solution to that is to live in the now, worry about the future later. But if I don't worry about the future or the past, then the past catches up to me and then I'm fucking dead and I can't live in them now. If I don't think about the future, then I, the future comes to the present and I'm not prepared for it and then I fucking die. And I can't live in the now. So it sounds like you need to be able to have the ability to relax without having to worry about all these things, but that's another topic. I just want to be fucking haunted. Yes, um... Do you remember that thing I came to you about a long time ago, before we went into the crypts? About a certain... Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm running low. I was wondering if we could, uh, double down on that. Possible. I have more money to actually pay you this time as well. So... I have well, some left I over, but... Do any... I don't need to do any experimentation with it since I know that what I did last time works so I just need to do that again it is it's not the same thing and it's riskier than the actual thing but it does what it's supposed to do well, that's all I really I care about I can't exactly say that I'm happy about that but at the same time it's working for you and it's keeping you in a state that you are actually able to focus on things so Let's see here. Sink my fucking eye. Shouldn't take too long now that that's since I remember I did it last time. Thank you, Endo. And pick these today yes uh, I had to make a run out to the grove because I only, I didn't even actually sleep there last night I was locked inside the uh, castle because all the gates were shut and they uh. refused to open them at that point mm. I just slept on the ground outside to be perfectly honest it was uh not most comfortable, but mm. I feel more at ease outside than stuck within walls. I know the feeling. It's claustrophobic sometimes.
this before. All right. Here you are. Thank you. How many dosage is there? Uh, let me check. Uh, 17, that'll probably be about 4 or 5, your pick. Fantastic. Thank you, Yendel. Of course. And thank you for... talking, I guess. I don't know how much help it was, but... I would say that... As someone who's lived over 4,000 years without even so much as someone to talk to, closing up people from your life just because you're afraid that they'll one day be gone sounds like a rather sad existence. If there's someone who matters that much to you, I wouldn't push them away just because one day they may be gone. Or you'll realize at the time that they were there, you weren't able to appreciate them because you were afraid of what could have happened and not what was in front of you. It's very insightful. Thank you. Got a lot to think about. Thank you. Of course. Kyla. Kid. Did Sarah find you? Was she looking for me? She was. Oh. She ran in towards the keep a little bit ago. I reckon she's still looking for you. Um, I have to drop something off at Alan's house, but I'll see if I can find her. Alright. I'll, uh, if I find her, I'll let you know you're there. Thanks, Kate. Captain? Bothering about, are we? If you have business within the castle, I suggest you get it done before we close our uh, inner so gate. It will be handled by Dante. I've made sure to pass him. I thank you for what you did. I could see the... Fine. Sonic. It's really what your fucking life has come to. So many dreams, so much.
Mr. Kyler. Hmm. Um, I believe Mr. Mirandel wanted you. All right. He's in the scribery. Thank you. Oh. Jack is missing? No, 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 no. I went with Jack. Not right, it's okay. Just saying, she's a friend. I would be careful. Yeah. Apparently, there's a group of guards going out on patrol tonight. I don't envy them. I think they want me to go with them. What? Eyes. That's dangerous. Yeah. What isn't, though? Am I right? Yeah, I'll go with you. Sneaking suspicion. Those we're looking for are here, anyways. Mm. Someone is spinning a web in left foot, and it is not the advisor's web. He warned me of this. Here by chance, was she? Ah, uh, why are you asking? If I figured she gets, if she was looking for something people, this where she'd be. Ah, uh, no. Ooh, okay. Didn't. Just gonna sit down. There'll be uh, apologies. Closing the gate soon to the inner keep is what I heard. That's so. Uh, yeah. Staying out there is going to get dangerous, so. Right, never mind then. I believe she came up here for a brief moment, but I, she must have gone back down because I haven't seen her for a while. Got it. Thank you. Sure. Board. Right, Jack. Gonna stand there all the time. Right. I'll do what I'm I going to do. Thank you. Tyler, I need you with me. I need to talk to you. Yes, and I have to uh, read this letter. Uh, you'll excuse me. Tyler, come on. See you. This involves the watch. Come on, come on. Oh, Mr. Jack. I will fucking help you. What? You just started mumbling to yourself. What do you need? Let's go. It's fine. Don't worry too much about it. It's just something that Mirandel wants us to look into. Nothing more. Right. Come on, Kyler. You be happy to know I've been given an order. Excellent. 
Seems the Royals are getting quite upset with this break-in. They're having me make locks for them in two days. Mm. One, two, and three. One for the sky break. There, and the door in front of the larder. Mm-hmm. Have to be done in two days. Actually, I haven't seen anyone else. What do you need, Jack? Anyway. Uh, let's head to my place and we'll discuss it. Right. You two stay safe, okay? We will, don't worry. Ah, oh, hello, bar. Hello. Oh, those are hers. Uh, yes. <laughs> thought you'd thought you'd be at the tavern. I'm sorry. Oh no. I've already been in the tavern. Can we go to your place, actually? I, this is a private matter I'd rather discuss. Shall we? Sorry. Sorry, I like to keep this from as many ears as I can. Hmm. Subscribery has been broken into multiple times, as I'm sure you're aware, but it was basically a ranshack today. Mm. One of Falgriff's missives were opened, and Mirandel's being blamed for it. At this point, it's no longer going to be in here. It's most likely going to be his head. <sighs> he wants us to look into the matter. See who's breaking in and stop them. Hmm. Okay. That's why that guard was there. Yeah. He wasn't there to protect Mirandell. He's making sure that. I want to keep this from as many years as I possibly can. Right. Don't know about the others quite yet because I don't know if we can call them. Me and you, I know we can trust each other. Mm. Uh, I'll keep my eyes and ears open, but I, I don't have much to go off. I heard once uh, a, a female went up there at one point without anyone's permission, but that was yesterday. So maybe keep your eyes for the females. Other than that, I'm, All right. I guess I'll just keep my eyes and ears open on it. I'll report to you if I hear or see anything. I would like it if... Every once in a while, one of us would go up there, even if, even if it's just to check on things, make sure everything's displaced, disheveled, mm. and if there is, we can know what happened mm. within the time. I was doing that in my own time, but I'll double down on that, I suppose, and make it official watch business then. I'd also like to do it in shifts. You go up there, then I would. That way we could collaborate stories, so if one thing happens, we can want to go back on each other's stories to confirm it. We can go and check every time the uh, sun shifts positions. That way it's a good timing. But throughout the night... The uh, checks between yeah. those times. Yeah. Cool. My problem is during the daytime. I'll make extra stops. Yeah. And I'll make sure to go up there and check as well. Oh, but... This keeps happening, we may no longer have our yellow or our scribe. 
we'll do our best, but yeah, we'll just keep our eyes and ears open, I guess. Yeah, I'll double That's check I while I'm on my patrols tonight. Thank you, Jack. I have a drow to not upset anymore. You gotta do that. There she is. Oh, look, there she is. Sarah? What? Uh, what were you wanting me for? I wasn't wanting you for anything, I was trying to fucking show you something, but it's too late now. You walked off. You just kind of mumbling and started pointing to things, didn't realize you wanted me for something specific. <sighs> Can't put two and two together. I figured it was to do with that, I don't... I'm not sure exactly what it was you were trying to achieve, though. Just trying to show you, but... It doesn't fucking matter anymore. <laughs> It was nothing, I just did what I had to do. Okay. Actually, I haven't seen him at all yet. No, fuck that. Not dealing with that. <laughs> I wonder what that was about. Oh, actually. <laughs> what the... Yeah, <laughs> right there. What? Hmm? Why are you... No, I can't... I have to. They're literally out there. Why? Eh, they could You're kill you. Killed. First of all, traveling at, at night. Yeah. Oh, yes, no. at night when robed, four legged. Yeah. Adjust the position of the sword about. and he's going to tighten your belt. <clears throat> I, I don't understand. It won't slide around and it won't chafe. You were there when I was explaining what I saw, right? No. Hooded figures. And uh, they ran away on all fours. Let's watch them die, shall we? Tang and the bowman? Tang not died. Hmm. What's that creeping around the hunter's cabin? What is that? The endel. I'll wait until she's in danger and then I'll go jump down there, but I'm not going down there. There was a guard standing up here last night and go. they were stabbed in the back. The attackers jumped across the river to the right. Just so we're aware. So this is your post, I take it? Just watching the chaos. You know, I know we were talking lightly of it this morning as though it were no rare occasion for people to get mugged on the road or during the night, but as the sun starts to set, I will admit I grow rather anxious. That makes one of us. Not 
getting anxious until I see it. Mm. I suppose that's one of the things that makes such a much grander difference. You're more likely to see it than I am. The sight you can see the gods running around in the woods right now. Super twisted. Searching or getting slotted. Hopefully the second. I'm not so sure. Normally I'd be... I wouldn't be against the, uh, any asshole of a guard getting, uh, getting a what for. But... If we keep sending the guards out so randomly, only to get slaughtered, and who's going to be left to defend the keep when something real does happen, or whatever is out there decides to make its way out of the forest and into the town? We will, as we always do. That's... That's the problem. In the past, we've always faced these sorts of challenges, not just as the militia, but with the guard there as well. Be it that they were engaging from another front or contributing to the defense elsewhere. I don't know if the militia alone could defend the keep by itself. That's my only concern. Care not too much for the guards, but rather where they're able to be useful. They've done nothing for us. Absolutely. I don't owe them anything. Nor will I ever do something for them. Unless it's for my own personal gain. I do not feel as though we owe them, but to throw away a soldier's life is pointless. Why? A soldier can only fight once. Can only live once. Fuck the guards. I don't give a shit about them. Right now I'm worried about the Dryad. Why she's heading out into the woods. <sighs> she does have time with her. She does you being not stupid. Do you know that Tang fucked the seamstress? I do not believe that in the slightest. Mm, no, apparently it happened. Confirmed by Tang's own words. Just cry. Mm. We had a whole conversation about it. <sighs> and I would enjoy hearing this conversation because... That's just funny. I am there. praying you are all having better conversations than the conversation I am having down there. Not particularly, but I uh, suppose I shan't distract them anymore. Oh. Uh, Alright then. I'll look elsewhere for better conversations. Come on. They're on the lookout. Kyla. What of them? 
just pets. I have a kitten. You have a cat and a Terek too. You don't utilize them at all. I could get a better vantage point, but I don't want to risk leaving the palisade. <laughs> Thought it was useless. It's not about protection, it's about not getting in trouble and having people follow me who get killed. Mm. Smart ass. I want to go on that hill so bad. That's where I saw them. Such a better fucking look. Yeah, there's some guards up there now. You wanna just go? There's guards. Hey, there's someone moving around up there. Yeah. I want to go sit up there. Fuck it. <laughs> Yay, finally not a pussy. Tang, tang, tang. Did you see anything on top of the hill? Nope, we're about to get a better vantage point though. That's gonna be a little more dangerous. From where? That hill. The one on the other side of the bridge. Yes. Be careful not to stray too far. Apparently the guards and the captain are shooting anything that is not wearing Ledford's colors. Good thing we'll just be sitting up here quiet. That means if a few of you go quiet and point to someone else, you can open your eyes and fight them in the night. We should go back. Maybe we should go back. It's already caught you. Good say. Well, I didn't know they were going to fucking stay it. Oh. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? We're trying to give a lookout, but you stupid fucks have taken the lookout spot. Yeah, this is where we were posted by the captain. Yeah, and what, what are you going to see? What the fuck are you doing up here? What did I tell you? 
But it, Cat and I don't are you people? <laughs> are you fucking deaf? <laughs> no. Is it Tang's fault? Why are you up here? We can see it's dark. I'm getting a better look out than you. What the? Yeah. I... Captain, we could. Oh, well, we you hurt my fucking brain sometimes. No, and you fucking sit can't. Right next to your man. I can fucking see better than him and shoot better than all of your men combined. Captain, let him All right, the fact that you're off. here means I'm gonna have to tell the advisor that you're here and that you could possibly be the people that are causing trouble here in Ledford. So the fact that you're here right now means you're Look, gonna I be in trouble. on my rump and not move. You can You'd watch be keeping me. an eye on her. Captain. Yeah. Why the f- I don't need- I'm- so that way you can rule her out as the person responsible. Come on, take Look, tree. you're not gonna see shit. That's what you're you here know for, it. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Poor captain. Probably gonna give him a fucking pop blood vessel, aren't we? You have already. <laughs> oh, I believe he's going to tell the other captain that you are here. He's quite cranky tonight. Give a shit. What are they gonna do? Yell at me. <laughs> Boy, you mm. throw a flag up for him. Throw a nice party up here. Get in town with him. Boy, tell him to get in here. They wanna throw a bloody You should still listen to me? Or they're gonna give us away. Um, well... So... What a... Especially the metal one, he's shy. Come to Captain and the Captain. Ask and you shall receive. Take these ribbons, they are Ireland colours. Put them around your arm. If you wish to assist, simply say so. Now then. You, female drow, with me. The other one, assist Captain William. I hear they can see things that move in the dark. We can use this. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck. I'll do respect, Captain. Stay here. Don't understand why you want to risk your life. Yeah. It's better than sitting in the dark. It is their funeral, their decision entirely. I won't stop them from doing this. Why the hell would I stay in there when I'm a better shot and I can see better than half your men? <laughs> you want to just pay off, off them? I could use an archer on the ground. Come along. Oh my god, I'm back. Not her. Tyler. A little, yes. Captain. What the fuck? Go back to the fucking town! Are you serious? Oh my, oh my god, Captain. I will cut you down. You yes, the whole village here. Brown. I don't want to be here anymore. Mr. It's scary. <laughs> Position. I don't feel You're so good. You're not supposed to be here in the first place. Now get down there God, and do your job. If, if okay. Go, us right go, now, hey! Just out in the open, Shut the fuck away. up and get to your position. Shut your mouths and get to your positions. You want Captain, to pick the you is about what? I don't feel so good. I'm gonna burn you if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the? Go to your fucking position. I... <laughs> Eleven frames. I don't know what that means. Sounds like a you problem. Just say the word, Captain. <laughs> captain, please. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> I can't see anything! You, po you can't uh, possibly beat me with that few frames. It's impossible. I just <laughs> say the word. <laughs> he, he, he only sees an 11-11 vision. What are you doing? Put away your fucking weapon! Fuck off with you! All the frames! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? I got my frames back. I think it's time you put down oh my god. Side. Okay, can you go to your position, please? Yes. I think it's time we put him down. Oh Fucking god. Jesus. Alright, yeah, listen here, Drum. Tang, can I ask you, in the nicest way possible, why you're up here? Not to be here. I am fully aware. 
was Kyle okay. already told. Yes, they ha they are wearing our ribbons and they are helping. About Mirandel. Uh oh. Uh my eyes deceive me. While the guard was out here, Mirandel You need to get out of here, you're bright. You. Get out of here now. I I heard Tang. Thank you. We're working on it. I'm behind, I'm checking all behind. Drow. Hmm. What I need from you. I need you to keep an eye on my men's back. We are the most vulnerable behind us. We are keeping an eye on the road. You see any lights from down below shining. It's a signal. It means we're meant to cover fire and help them out on the ground. If you see me light mine, that means we're under attack. Right. Understood? Where will you be? You shoot anyone that doesn't wear our fucking colors. Come here. Come here. Come by the fun tree. Yeah, I'm staying directly the fuck away from you, you creepy rapist. <laughs> hey! Hey! Shut your mouth! And get yourselves ready. I got me. So Drow get to roll in the mud with us. What did I just fucking say to you? Don't move, don't move, just make sure we're looking back. Oh, no.
God, I haven't fucking eaten today. I just realized that. I mean, it's better than this. I ain't seen shit. Hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Sorry, there's not much happening right now. Captain, behind. Captain, behind us. What? what? Behind us. What? They're moving in the shadows Sergeant, behind us. Sergeant, on a swivel! Sergeant, on a swivel! Enemies behind us. I saw Crazy. one. How many? Just, I only saw one, but... No, they're moving down there. They're moving down Hotel. there. That way. Sergeant. More of them cross from right to left, running around no. that way. They're going up around that way. It's ridge. I saw them down there. Fuck. They're moving. Around. Should I... Should I alert them down there that we're seeing people? I don't know. I don't know what your plans are, Captain. I just know that they're moving in behind us. Alright, tell them. Move down the line. Right. Lads, I need you to move further down. Move further down, they're moving in on us. Move further down, follow me. Stay close. 